Thank you very much for talking with us. Absolutely. Thank you for the invitation. I want to uh, kind of get into your head, like when when it's confirmed that you're in Tomb Raider. Mm -hmm. What is that moment like? Uh, you know, uh, initial euphoria and then an extraordinary amount of anxiety. Uh, I, I think any 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 person uh, who who cares about storytelling as, as much as I do uh, would would feel that way. You know, it's a it's a it's a big it's a big thing, and um, and uh, and then that goes away, just like that. You know, you put that in the back of your head, and that's the reaction that one should have when you're given uh, an invitation to 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 uphold a, uh, a, a franchise like this, and then, and then that has no weight whatsoever, and you get in and you go to work. Now, were you a fan of like the other Lara Croft movies and or the uh, video games? I never saw the movies. And never? Never played the video games, so uh, I know the poster, and, uh, and I obviously am a huge fan of Angelina Jolie's. Uh, but no, I, I had never seen um, uh, you know her, her portrayal or really knew any, anything about the story other than Lara Croft ran really cool, <laughs> you know. Uh, and I and I didn't uh, take the opportunity once uh, this kind of came my way to to in some ways brush up on it, right, or, or to learn about it um, because I, I I thought that the story that Geneva wrote was so good, and and that's what I focused on. Uh, I wanted to. Uh, be able to criticize this story without having that mythology on my, on my back. I like the fact that this is really a whole new world for you. It is a whole new world for me. Yeah, yeah, and I'm sure I'll get slapped at somewhere along the way. So how could you do? How, how do you not know anything about Tomb Raider? But uh, it is it is what it is. That's that was my decision, and I stand by it. And then your take on this character you play, uh, I t I think of him as just an. Ass. Oh yeah. Okay. Maybe well, that's not your take. <laughs> yeah. You know, I, I uh, not to disprove uh, your 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 feelings. To each his own. Um, I you know I, I I think of him, not as the the solely the person that you meet when he's introduced into the story. You know, I think that he had a journey to become this man, and I, I think that that his seven years on this island has taken its toll, and and that he there was a day when he left his family and. His outlook on life was uh, enthusiastic and positive, and he thought that he was going to do great things. And and years went by, and he didn't get the thing that he was looking for, and um, somewhere along the way he lost hope. And now what is it that makes him tick, keeps him going? Well, you know, it's what's so interesting about that question and about this story, if you choose to see it, um, is uh, there's a moment in the story where hopefully the audience will be in the head of Laura Croft and uh, they will be uh, uh, co co confused or um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Not, not bewildered, maybe bewildered um, at where they find themselves. It'll be extremely disorienting. And what the audience doesn't know is that um, uh, 10 minutes before uh, she came into this tent when I realized that she was on my island, and who she was, uh, that I am just as disoriented as she is because she represents a real possibility for me to get off this island. So while her life just took a turn for the worse, my life took, just took a time for, uh, for the better, right? And, uh, and that's really interesting if you think about it in those terms. What did you witness uh, watching Alicia like, uh, I mean, because the, the weight of the shoulder, uh, the movie is on her shoulders. You know, I, I, a person who didn't feel the weight of this movie on her shoulders, you know, I, I, I think that's what all great athletes do. That's what all great performers do. That's what all great musicians do. You're not doing this uh, because you feel like you're carrying the weight of, of, of a story on your shoulders. You're doing this because you love it. You know, you're playing a piece of music because you love it. Uh, and, and, and that's what I saw in, 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 in Alicia. You know, she's a, uh, a fierce, driven, focused uh, person, and, uh, and, I, and, I, and I respect her for the vulnerability required to step out into a world, into a genre that um, she's not known for and, and not look back. Hey guys, thanks for checking out this video. We want to know, what would you have asked? Let us know in the comments below. And if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button. And as always, for more videos like this, hit the MIH TV logo right here. And for the next awesome video, click right there.